We've covered float drop a lot in the past, but a viewer had a theory about how it operates and how it actually works, and I don't know if that's actually correct. So today, we're just going to put it to the test and see if he was right or wrong. Let's get started. So the floats aren't that difficult to adjust, but there's a couple of critical dimensions in here to make sure you get it to operate correctly so the floats will open in the range that it needs to so the needle and seat will operate the way it needs to. There are a couple of things here that are in play. You've got this dimension here where that's easy to measure this way to when the float is closed, the fuel bowl is full. If you adjust where this stops at you can determine how much fuel you will carry inside the float bowl. The other one is the drop and the drop will show you how low the fuel level will go before the needle and seat will open wide open or more open to get more fuel flow in there. So as you are going through the your driving whatever the case may be if you need more fuel uh, as the float drops and the fuel level drops, it will continue to open up the needle and seat more, more fuel flows in, and this operates back and forth. What the viewer stated is this. The problem is, as he said, I didn't explain fully the operation of the float drop adjustment and that that's where he had the issue. And the drop indicates the travel of the needle, yada, 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 and he's not incorrect there. His theory was, is if the float drop is excessive, like it is here, that the needle will bind in the seat, and that's not out of the realm of possibility. However, there is a fixed depth to that float bowl. Can you lower this enough where you will cause a binding of that needle in the seat? And it's a good question, and that's what we're going to test today. We're going to use that carburetor. We're going to use a set of floats and see how far that drop is out of the spec, and will it bind the needle in the seat? Now, obviously, if it's bound open and there's no shutoff for the fuel into the carburetor, you could cause a very serious flooding condition. And when I say serious, it's like overfilling a bathtub and not turning off the faucet and wondering why there's water all over your floor. It would literally be chaos. So we're going to test that theory to see if that's correct. I've, I already know what the results are um, just because I've been inside this carburetor so much, but let's put it to the test. Let's put it to an actual physical test. We're going to cut up this carburetor. Now, before you get mad at me about destroying a carburetor that looks like it's in decent condition, this one's got some serious ethanol damage. There's nothing I can do with it. It's a parts carburetor, but what it will do is it give us a good baseline to show you how that operation works so we're going to cut a window in one of the sides here and i will show you how that float operates so i'll go ahead and do that i'll save you the the image of me you know cutting this thing open and then we'll get this back on the stand and then i'll show you how it operates so that took a little less time than i thought so we got some pieces cut out and we've got a nice great big window cut in the side of a carburetor it was almost a little terrifying to do but whatever it's for the good of uh, understanding what's going on here. So let me get this mess cleaned up. I'll show you a view from the side and we'll start talking about float adjustment. Okay, so the floats are set. Uh, if you wanna watch that video on how to set the floats, I'll leave that link up above, uh, but they are set to the 7 16 and to the 15 16 drop. So we're gonna put that in there. I'll show you the view from the side and then uh, we'll take a look at the operation, see how that works. Okay, so here is the float installed. A nice little window here at the factory settings. So when you look at it when it is all the way closed, when the needle and seat here is closed, that's where the float rides in the little float bowl there. When it drops down all the way down to the bottom at our 15 16 level, needle is open, it's allowing fuel to pass through, the float is at its lowest setting according to Edelbrock specification and it sits fairly low in the chamber, but it's got plenty of operation. There's no pressure behind the seat so or the needle, so it does kind of operate a little funky, but you can see it operates fairly easy. Even when the uh, needle is all the way down, the float will go up. It's within the spec. Now, 
let's take and bend the drop tab so this thing will open all the way and see if we can get the needle to bind in there and see if there's any issues. And we'll also go ahead and bend this up a little bit so you can see what that float looks like when it's bent too far up and see if there's contact on the stop side. So let me get the top back off, get the uh, float uh, readjusted and we'll come back and look at it. Now I'm gonna get a little aggressive with this and way out. So this is the tab for the drop. I'm going to really bend this out of the way, okay? Now for the float, to get it to rise up, we're going to really bend this out of, out of whack. So that is a really, really, really poorly adjusted float. And we will get it back into the carburetor and take a peek at it. Before that goes in, let's quickly verify that float setting so when it's all the way down drop let's drop the needle down here and we try to close the float yes you can barely see it in there let's get some light on there you can barely see it that needle is cocked in there and yes that would cause the condition that the commenter said that it could screw the needle up cause a flooding condition and cause some pretty catastrophic uh, damage if it's just open flowing fuel without any uh, restriction in it so yes can it do it absolutely so let's go ahead and put this back into the carburetor now and just now that we've verified that and we'll go from there okay so we have our uh, air horn assembly back down and, and torque down uh, we will raise the float up now you can see that uh, you can set the float too high and what that would do is uh, cause too much fuel level to be in the bowl here and that could be an issue because you know you can uh, run into an issue where it comes back out of the slots uh, it's just a bad condition so setting it too high is, is certainly uh, can be an issue but what we're concerned here or what the commenter was concerned here was the drop so I'm going to go ahead and let the float drop all the way you'll hit it here in the floor of the float of the float chamber here and what it's done is it's hit here and it's hit on this little nub over here so it, it's you can hear it clearly now let's take a look at the needle over here and it's all the way out as far out as it's going to go now remember this was the same condition that we had earlier where we tested it and when that float dropped it bound the needle out of the seat and you can see that this float operates that this float operates no problem the needle will not bind at all no matter how horribly you set the drop is the float level or the fuel level too low in this carburetor yeah you could run into some starvation issues the jets are located here here's the rear one the primary jet is right back there so yes you could run into an instance where there's not enough fuel in there depending on the demand of the engine and yes you could starve it but float drops important I'm not gonna tell you that it's not but I'm gonna tell you that the float level is the more critical of the two as it sets the way the chamber of the or the, the chamber of the float uh, here is made there is no way by making a poor adjustment on the drop will this get you uh, a needle that will bind in the seat but that being said what would have to happen for that needle to bind would there be some different bends on here would we have to crush the float well i think maybe so what i'm going to do is i'm going to crush this float down to see if we can get it low enough where we have an issue with the needle binding in the seat that way we can see it looks at so tops coming back off let me do some hammering on that and then we'll come back
Aha! Success. Sort of. Okay, so we have finally found a level that the float could drop. It's kind of hitting over here again, but get the picture of where now this will bind and cause the float to stick wide open. It's a little picky, but for the most part, um, you know, with fuel pressure behind this, it's going to kind of hold, help hold this open. So any little uh, notch here. But we did it. We have created that situation that the commenter talked about, that the float would stick wide open, the needle would stick wide open, and uh, cause a catastrophic failure within the carburetor. We've accomplished it. Okay, so we finally made that happen. Let's get the float out of here. Now, if your float looks like this, yes, there is a possibility that the needle will get stuck and not be able to close. So if one of your floats looks like that, well, yep, there's a there's a big problem. So yeah. Now, I know that was a little bit of a ridiculous deal here, but I wanted to show you the instance where that would happen. I know it wasn't physically possible for it to happen that way. That carburetor was designed like that decades ago. Uh, by the folks at Carter. Uh, just same with uh, people will say on occasion that you can't, that they don't like the slip pin here uh, for the float because it has an opportunity to slip out. But when you look at it, there's no way for that pin to slide out of there. There's no way for that pin. There's not enough room for it. So anyway, I knew that was the case, but hey, you, you can tell people something, but the best way it is to actually visualize it. And we did that. We cut the hole open in the carburetor, gave you a good uh, visual of how that float operates in the, in the float bowl, what the drop looks like, what the correct uh, setting on the level looks like. And then we got ridiculous and tweaked it till it, uh, bound up there like the poster said or the commenter said so anyway if you got any questions on that uh don't hesitate leave them down below i uh, hope we learned something here today <laughs> and uh again if your floats look like this mm, it may be time to replace them so because if they look like this well you could cause an issue where they'll stick wide open anyway if you got any comments leave them down below and i guess we will uh Catch you guys on the next one. I had fun doing this one. Didn't have fun destroying that old carburetor, but it was junk anyway. So it's time to time to put her to rest. So anyway, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> we'll see you.